All right, what is up? Quick little mod here. The, uh, man, once it got hot, this, uh, man, I can't believe that how tiny the radiator is on this and just that it's only got one electric fan and just a two-speed uh, for air conditioning and the cooling. And I noticed that it doesn't even kick on a high-speed fan with the air on until the temperature gets up. So when you first start this sucker up with it really hot outside, the fan just comes on low speed for the air until the car gets up to about 200, which is I have a program for to bring on the high speed. It was programmed for 220 coolant temperature. So anyway, right now you can already see it's over 300. And it's just a little over 100 out, maybe 105. I added a, let's see if I can show you this. Shoehorned in electric fan. There we go. I shoehorned in that uh, electric fan down there as a pusher. That fan there is it's over on that side of the radiator. It's got a shot that goes over, but then there's also, you can't see it. Down there you can see the bare radiator. The fan's not even, the shot doesn't even cover the bottom corner of the radiator. So that's where I put the pusher fan. So. 300 psi. It was higher, but that's probably when the inside of the car was really hot. I'm going to plug this fuse back in. Alright. Got 10 psi. Each one of these lines is 10 psi on this because this is an 800 psi gauge. 15 psi. See, I already dropped 15 psi just from plugging that in 15 seconds ago. That ought to help a little bit. Get the air moving right away as soon as that. That's just, I got a relay uh, over here. Nothing special, but. There's the relay. Just got it coming off the compressor. When the compressor clutch pulls in, it powers the relay. And then this cable goes over to the battery, which is through that fuse. Push your fan down there. I had that fan, or I would have bought a bigger one. It's just wedged down there, fits pretty nice. So, ah, just trying to get that laying in there for when I do my test. So, so it was over 300, it dropped it down under 300. So. Every little bit of fan will help, I guess. So, let's see how that works. This sucker um, does run kind of hot on hot days. It, I'm driving it. It runs uh, up to the A. Right now it's still just way down there, but once you get driving it on its hot day, this thing sits right on the A to the L. And a new radiator, it's been flushed. Thermostat's new, everything. But what I found out is that uh, I looked on the internet and uh, for a 96 Mustang GT and you just see tons of people saying that they're freaking out. So the car ain't overheating, per se. It wasn't bubbling over. Mine wasn't either, it just leaked. Not that radiator fitting, but they don't bubble over. That's just where they run, about 230 degrees when you get driving them around. So sometimes it'll drop down about 220 something when you're just cruising. But I don't know, I'm talking like a 110 degree day, 110 plus here in the Phoenix area. Stupid single pass radiator. So if I had the extra money and time, I'd order a aftermarket one. But a stock one's 120 bucks. Aftermarket one's about 440. So he got over triple the cost just to get a about 50% more radiator capacity and just hardly worth it as long as it hangs out there. I'll probably do some sort of other mod uh, once I have the turbo or something. If it's running a little too warm, I might have to put a little mister, just an extra uh, winter washer bottle or something and spray a little mist in front of the radiator there. Uh, that'll work better than anything for one. Uh, you're really hot rodding the thing. So, see how that extra fan works there.